at this stage of my life, I had never met anyone who'd been in the films. I'd never been to a convention. I had never got an autograph from anyone in my life. I The closest thing I had ever seen to someone in these films was watching interviews on television. And one day I had a friend tell me, I was like, oh, there's this thing called Supernova in, in Brisbane. It was a pop culture expo. Very much like uh, Comic-Con and, and all those sort of things, but the, it, on a very smaller scale, though, you know, if this is Australia. And, you know, someone said to me, oh, yeah, there's Supernova, you know, there's this thing. And I remember reading about, like, I'm not going to go to that. No way. Why would I go there? And like a lot of the exhibitors, I was like, I can go to their stores any time. You know, they're the ones I see in the city. Like, why should I pay to go in? And then someone said to me, well, by the way, they actually have guests go. And I'm like, oh, really? They have people from film and TV. And I can't remember who they had in the first one. But I think it was either the second or third one. They had... I'm going to lift it up. Once again, for the people, you can't see it. But they had... Oh, there's a reflection. They had David Prowse. And this happily sits in my room. It, and and I got an autograph and I got to chat to David Prowse. And just to, to put this moment in, 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 into, check, into perspective, like I say, I had never met anyone from Star Wars. So you can imagine how excited I was that I was going to meet the man who was inside the suit, Darth Vader. And... No matter what anyone says, you know, yes, there were two people that played Darth Vader. James L. Jones gave him the voice. David Prowse is the man in the suit. But body language can speak so much. And David did that. And he did that in spades. So to me, he was Darth Vader. And James L. Jones is Darth Vader. And Hayden Christensen is Darth Vader. But David Prowse, this is the guy who was on set. This is the guy who fought Luke Skywalker and, you know deflected laser bolts from 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 Han Solo and all that sort of stuff. So when I heard this, I was just like, oh my God, this I can't believe it. I, I was shaking. I was sitting um at, at, in my house and I was sh- I was just like going, oh God, I'm so nervous. I don't think I can do this. And for for days I was very up and down whether I was going to go or not. I'd bought my tickets, but I was very up and down about meeting him. Because I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what I was allowed to do. Uh, you know, I hadn't read my conditions of entry. I was like, oh, can I hug him? Can I shake his hand? What's going on? What am I going to do? And and all that sort of stuff. So I was really apprehensive about going. So my mate, Tony, he's like, you know, dude, come on. You, you got to do this. I'm like, all right, sure, fine, you know. And of course, when we got there, the place was jam-packed. Because it wasn't just David Prowse. Peter Mayhew was also there. So Chewie was there. So I was like, I'm possibly going to meet Chewbacca as well. I had no idea what the crowd was going to be like. And when we got there, like I say, there were queues around the block. There were, there were thousands upon thousands of people. And I was like, I didn't realize this. these things were so big, so huge. There's just people everywhere. So we queued up and I got in. And then, of course, I was told, well, you've also got a queue for autographs. I was like, oh, but no, no, you have to. And of course, I didn't realize too back then that you had to pay for autographs. So I was like, well, thank God I brought some money along because I was completely unprepared. And um, and then someone said to me, I said, oh, what have you brought to get autographs? And I said, well, I've got nothing. And they said, oh, okay, well, for an extra such and such, you can get a, a photo you know, and you can take it up and get an autograph. And I was like, I had no idea. And of course, I'm seeing people with lightsabers. They've got t-shirts they're going to get signed. Some people wanted their arms signed so they could get it tattooed. Uh, people had Darth Vader helmets. They had action figures. Um, of course, if you brought your own things, it, it was a lot cheaper. So I stood in line and I think I queued for maybe 45 minutes to about half an hour. And there was a fellow in front of me and he had a huge Darth Vader helmet. I think it was a Don Post one. And he was, and this is like around April. So just after our summer here in Australia. So it's still quite warm and he had a leather jacket on and the sweat was pouring off the man. I mean, he was drowning. It was like someone that had a shower head above him and was just raining him down with water. 
And he began, as he approached the table when it was his turn, he, he just uncontrollably sh- started shaking. I thought he was actually having a seizure and I had to I had to grab him. I'm like, dude, are you okay? And he's like, I'm about to meet my hero. And then, of course, that got me nervous. And I'm like, well, he, he's not my hero hero, but this is the guy. This is Darth Vader right in front of me. And David was with his wife at the time. And she has walked around the table, put her arm around this guy and said, you know, it's okay. David's in front of you. Take a breath. It's okay. There's no rush. You just take your time, sweetie. It's okay. You know, are you going to be okay? If I walk back around, you, you're going to be okay. And um, she looked at me and she said, well, thank you. And I said, no, that's no, no drama. You know, we're all fans. You know, it, it can be it can be exciting and confronting at the same time. She goes, it can be. And um, he stood there for probably a good three or four minutes and he spoke to this guy. And they just had, he had a casual chat and he reached over and put his hand on his hand and he said, it's all right, you know, I'm going to chat to you. It's cool, you know. And he was trying to, you know, and he's like, dude, I'm just so nervous. And he goes, what? He said, what would you like me to write on your helmet? And he saw his name and he signed it, you know, Darth Prowse, Darth, no, David Prowse's Darth Vader and all that sort of stuff because that's how we signed his stuff. And he had a good chat with him. And when it came to my turn, I handed that that print over and said, oh, this is, you know, wow, what's your name, Adam? And he stood there with me for five minutes and he's like, you know, he said, this is my, you know, he said, I love Brisbane, you know, it was a nice, could you recommend a restaurant? And I said, I'm going to be honest, mate, I don't really, I said, McDonald's is a restaurant for me or, or uh, you know, like I said, there's some really lovely ones in the city. I don't know what they're called, but I, I don't really get to eat at fancy restaurants. And he's like, oh, you know, I love coming here. I love coming to Australia and your fans. And he, and he said, I wanted to thank you for, for putting out, you know, trying to help that fan before. And um, and I was just honest. I said, look, it, you have no idea how much of an honor it is to meet someone like yourself. I said, you were the man in the suit and you, you're you a part of a universe that we've all loved. And, and, you know, I just, and I said, I can't believe I'm standing in front of you right now. And he's, you know, and I said, but, it's something I'll cherish and it'll always be with me for the rest of my life. And his wife's like, oh, that's really lovely. And, you know, and she said, is this the first time you've ever been to a convention? And I said, yes, it has. And I said, I'm completely overwhelmed. And they both said, we'll enjoy your time here and, and here's your picture. And, you know, they said, hopefully we may come back another day and we'll get to see you again. And, you know, it was lovely to meet you. And and I watched David the entire time and he was so interactive with his fans and he loves his fans. And, He's all about them. And, you know, walking away and going, wow, this, he's so down to earth. I I expected him to be like, autograph next, autograph next, autograph next. His line was massive. It was huge. And Peter Mayhew's was probably double his size. So when I got to meet Peter, it was very, it was a lot more faster and there was only like, you know, a very one minute banter and then you were gone. I remember when he shook my hand, his fingers were halfway up my arm uh, because he was that big and tall. I didn't expect to see him. But that moment with David Prowse, once again, is something, a memory that I will never forget. Like he took his time to talk to me and, you know, and he was taking time with every fan that he had because he understood that the fans were as much a big part of this as, uh, than anything else. You know, you can't survive without us. And um, he was such a generous, kind-hearted person. And it's a little bit of a shame what happened. And, you know, we we hear a lot of stories between David and, and Lucasfilm and all that sort of stuff. And uh, we'll, we'll probably never know the truth of, you know, we've got the sides of the story. But, but you know what? My experience with David Prowse was something truly heartwarming and touching. And the man himself, you know, what a moment. My first ever person that I'd ever met from Star Wars. And once again, it was in that time of my life when so much was going on and it was something I needed. And the rest of the day, I couldn't contain myself. The first thing I wanted to do was take the picture and get it framed straight away. I didn't want this thing to get dirty. I didn't want it to get stained. I was like, I'm going to hang this on my wall. I'm going to look at this all the time. Um, I'm going to tell everyone about it. And of course, I did tell everyone about it and they everyone told me to be quiet and stop talking about it. But... Yeah, so that was my first Star Wars autograph ever. 
and you know it's got my name on it so that's but that's even more cooler so you know but but I can say the last Star Wars autograph I got was Mark Hamill. So, you know, it, 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 it's bookend really nicely at the moment. Hopefully, there'll be more to come in the future uh, if I can ever get to another Star Wars celebration or we get some guests out here. But that very first one, like I say, just like I say, I've been saying all night, once again, an item that has so much memory behind uh, so many memories behind it. Um, yeah. Magic. All I can say is magic, and I, I also wanted to say thank you to David Prowse, because you, sir, are a true gentleman. <laughs>